It's avakai pachari season and I'm going to share with you an ancient recipe that's coming down from generation to generation in the Domukonda family. So this was this recipe was given to my grandmother by her mother-in-law and so on and so forth. It's called Tia Tava and I'm going to show you how to make it. So the ingredients are for 10 mangoes that I have here. They are from my Atama's tree. You know, I like to make pickle in small quantities and relish it throughout the year. And I feel that uh, it's something really special and personal and every family has their own recipe. All I would like to say is that, you know, pickles have so, so many health benefits. It's unbelievable. For more, please check out yourlife.co.in. So let's start by cutting the mango. So you take the mango like this, remove the top part and then go. Cut the mango in half and then go half again. This is the toughest part of the avakai pachadi process. Whoa, very tough. Pour the oil, one spoon of jeera powder, one spoon of methi powder and then ginger garlic paste. So this is garlic, one spoon. I want to maintain the highest standards of hygiene right now. Yes, my hands are absolutely clean, but I do not want anything to touch this really nice dish. So I'm using a hand blender to mix all my ingredients. A lot of you will disagree with me, but trust me, in these times, I think it's better you use a hand blender. So we have some turmeric here. You can see it's so bright and yellow. This is what my sister got from Lacadong and uh, it has the highest curcumin levels. So here you go, adding the turmeric. So this is mustard powder. followed by salt and then finally your mirchi powder so be careful to stay away my nose is twitching uh, it's a lot of mirchi well looks good and there you have changalu. So changalu go in. Then jeera powder. The rest of it. And then garlic. So here you go. The mangoes are all cut. This is the toughest part of the whole pickle making process is cutting the mangoes. Cut them into any shape or size that you want i like them a little bigger apparently they become smaller uh, than here so and dip them in oil so you have to coat them in oil and then after that i'm wearing gloves because i'm very very particular about the hygiene so here you go i'm going to put these mangoes into the pachadi So now every mango piece is coated with the pickle pachadi. But now there's a secret ingredient that my grandmom adds and I'm going to show you what it is and how to add it. So remove the gloves. This is a secret ingredient that my grandmom puts in. So it's actually bellum. So jaggery, jaggery and oil, I'm going to whisk it and then add it on top so it goes all around evenly. I don't know why she says to put this in the end, but anyways, I'm going to put it in the end and follow her instructions. So here you go, mixing the... Now mix the bellum and oil.
so it's finally done here you go by the way guys i want to tell you that this year is my first attempt at making avakai pachadi uh the proof is in the pudding you will know three day i'll know three days later how it is so when you see avakai on my husband's plate it's mine actually atmas is also fabulous nobody can beat that but here you go this is an ancient recipe put it in the jari and apparently 3 days later you have to add oil and check the taste okay so it's in a jari now all i need to do is to cover it so here you go take a white cloth cover it and tight tight my avocado pachadi is ready <laughs>